I said one thing, I'd never get married and I'd never leave a pregnant woman behind, and I did both because I, I felt like you were never going to come back, and lieutenants were very expendable in World War II, and, and I just felt like that, uh, you know, you, you just did what you had to do. You had to defend your country. You didn't want the Germans to run the world. And because of their courage and devotion to their country and Alabama football, 13 of those veterans featured in the book, When Winning Was Everything, are back in their college stomping ground to be honored. I haven't seen many of these men in over 60 years. So they, they got old, bald, fat, and wrinkled, but their eyes didn't change. The eyes looked the same. It was a, a beautiful thing, okay? a bonding that I didn't, didn't realize I was having way back then. It's unbelievable, really. I mean, when the guy called me and said, you know, how would you like to be in the book? And I said, well, look, you know, I didn't get in until the end of the war. He said, that doesn't matter. He said, that it's happened to a lot of people. Uh, so, um, yeah, yeah it's, it's a huge honor. To see a lot of old friends, but then you, uh, talking with the old friends, you, you end up talking to them about some old friends that are no longer with us. Uh. I didn't know very many of them because uh, we only played on the freshman team and we scrimmaged with the varsity, but... Some of those guys I didn't like very much. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it was okay, and it was nice to see these guys, and they're all so friendly and everything, and they all did what I did, so it was really nice talking with some of them, yeah. The University of Alabama will honor these veterans with a ceremony at Saturday's game against Mississippi State. Now, that's the main reason I came down here. I just, Everybody that I knew all in Birmingham, I job with them about going down here. And this one tell me to wave at them, this one tell me to do this. I tell everybody the same thing. If I drop my walking cane, that's to tell them hello, but <laughs> that's the greatest feeling. I may be the only one I got crying there. And it was, a, it was an exciting invitation that I, I knew I had to make it. It's a, your relationship with God and your family and country. And then after that come a bonding of the football at Alabama. It's a legacy that is unequal. I tell you, to see a hundred, what's a hundred two thousand in there? Oh my! When we played, we had thirty-five thousand in the stadium. And then we used to go up and play in Legion Field, and I think they were is about thirty-five or thirty. But playing in front of a hundred thousand people, oh my God! I hope I don't trip or make a mistake and <laughs> walking out there. Reporting in Tuscaloosa, Matt McCoy. WVUA News.